Hey, hey everyone, Becky Lander here, CEO and co-founder of Modern Direct Seller. Welcome back to day four of the Modern Direct Seller Challenge. Today, we are diving into all things content and I couldn't be more excited for today's topic. So thanks for being here. We are almost through the week. Tomorrow is our last day. Y'all are killing it. You're showing up every day really demonstrating that consistency of getting those ABCs done. I'm loving some of the wins that we're hearing from all of you. And we are gonna finish strong through the end of the week. Tomorrow's video is all around getting ahead of the holiday hustle and how to create some fun momentum in your business before the holidays start. So today, quick little housekeeping, you guys know the drill. If you haven't for some reason already signed up to get the daily emails and to be eligible for prizes, head right on over to moderndirectseller.com slash challenge. Now, next up, all access pass holders, I am so excited to spend some time with you for our office hours today, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. If you have fallen behind this week and you want to make sure you have lifetime access to the replays as well as the workbook, you can still snag that all access pass at moderndirectseller.com slash all access or if you want it all, come hang out with us inside the Modern Direct Seller Academy. We just opened our fall enrollment and announced the bonuses yesterday, and they are so, so good. In fact, since today we're talking about content, you're gonna love the content B-roll lab that we have planned for you in October. We're gonna show you how to create some really fun content easily on your phone, bank that content up, have it waiting for you throughout the entire fall season. It's gonna be a ton of fun. We are also doubling your confetti. So when you do your daily ABCs and you log in and you check the box that you're done, that confetti falls from the sky and we are gonna give you double modern direct seller shop credit for the month of October. And when you join us as a pro or VIP member, you will also get an exclusive invite to next Friday's virtual rich as we really solidify that Q4 plan. So we'd love to see you there on the inside. But meanwhile, go ahead and feel free to share this video with your team, your biz besties, your sideline, your upline, anyone that is working to create content in their business because this video is going to be jam-packed with all kinds of good ideas for you as we roll into the fall. So earlier this week, we talked a little bit about the model of A, B, C. A for active selling, B for building relationships, C for creating content, and we've made it all the way to the C for creating content. Now really, creating content is kind of the top of the funnel, right? So when we talk about what sales look like for you inside your business, the idea would be to create really compelling content that draws people in, it creates engagement, they're commenting, they're liking, they're, they're hanging out with you on social, that gives you the opportunity to move it into a one-to-one -one conversation and build that relationship, there's the B. And then when the time is right, really introduce more about the business and your products and go for that A, which is asking for the sales. They all work together, hand in hand, but that content creation piece is one of those that sometimes I feel like we spend a little bit too much time on, right? We know that we need to create content we need to show up on social media and beyond social media, but creating content can kind of feel time consuming. It can kind of feel like a lot. So I want to share with you a couple of strategies and systems that I love to use when creating content so you can borrow these and you can make content creation just a little bit easier for you in your business. So first off is what I love to think about in terms of our long form content and our short form content. So long form content is gonna be anything that's more than just a couple paragraphs at length. It could be a video like this, it could be a podcast episode, it could be a blog post, it could be an email that you're writing, but something that's gonna be a little bit longer in length. And then you can take that content and break it down into bite-sized pieces. And that is going to provide you with your short form content. We know that people have such a limited attention span, right? We know that they have seven seconds to watch a reel and for you to get your point across with a really fun, compelling hook. So when we're thinking about that short form content, 
we can pull that straight out of our long form content. So for our all access pass holders inside the workbook, I'm gonna give you a couple examples of this. But if you are brand new to this concept and wanna dive into it deeper, we got resources for you too. You can head over to moderndirectseller.com slash content and you'll get a couple examples of what this looks like in practice. Now, my favorite place to create long form content would be a video or a blog post. And we have our brand new Oh My High website with fill in the blank templates coming your direction in November. You can join the wait list for that if you would like. And that is a great spot to create this long form content to give it more mileage. So over time, it's going to increase in visibility versus social content, which is going to decrease in visibility over time. So you have a couple options there in terms of content creation. Another piece that I love is what we call our social selling action plan. So this is really designed to create content in a way that's going to give you the words to say when you're following up. So it's one thing just to put content out there and hope that people engage in it, but not really knowing what's next in the conversation. It's totally different when you're creating that content and reverse engineering it, knowing that when I create this content, I'm gonna have a really strong call to action so I know what people are gonna do next. Otherwise, they're just gonna keep on scrolling, right? So having that strong call to action and then moving it into a direct message for you to build that relationship. So in our social selling action plan, which is available brand new every single month inside the Modern Direct Seller Academy, we're doing that work for you. We're sharing what you can share on social and then what you can say in direct messages, as well as some other fun ways to create content, whether that be a challenge that you put out for your followers or a uh, bracket board where they pick their favorite fall product. We're giving you some ideas there on how to do that in a way to make it just a little bit easier. I love in that social selling action plan, we have it preloaded to boards. We also have it preloaded to SendShare and we're giving you Canva templates. So it's taking a little bit of the guesswork out of what content to create to really create some good engagement. Now, I don't want to forget engagement content. I think that's really important, whether it's asking people really simple questions. Is it this or that? Or if you had to choose A, B, C, or D, or tell me your opinion, a point of view, should I wear this top or that top? Whatever that might be, engagement content is really important to sprinkle in to your business strategy and your content strategy that you're putting out there. So we have some resources for you on that. If you're inside the Academy, we have our 365 social content bundle, which gives you a post to make every single day of the year. Or if you want just like a little bit of a taste of that, you can go grab the freebie bundle over at moderndirectseller.com slash social bundle. And inside your workbook, all those all access pass holders, we have some examples of what this looks like in practice. But the real concept here when it comes to creating content is to be consistent with that content you're putting out there. And a lot of times people will ask me, like, where should I be posting and how often should I be posting? And my biggest advice here is to make sure that your content is being shared publicly. So it needs to be shareable. It needs to be discoverable. So what that means is if you've been hiding out in your customer VIP group on Facebook, we got to put ourselves out there a little bit more. So that means going to create content that you're putting out on YouTube or going to create content that you're putting on your public business page or even your personal or maybe professional profile. So you can have a bigger reach and you have the opportunity for people to tag people and click that share button and put it out there so the world can see. Now, I don't suggest you abandon your VAP group. If you have a great thriving community there with great engagement, by all means. But you may wanna test creating content publicly and then sharing that into your group versus starting in the group where you can't go share it outside of the group. So when you're thinking about that content creation process, Long form content is gonna be your best friend. Sprinkle in those engagement posts. Make sure your content is public, shareable, discoverable, and then you decide what you feel comfortable with in terms of how often you're posting and where you're posting. So there isn't necessarily a magic formula for, oh, you gotta post three times a day in this type of content on this platform. You really have to look at your bandwidth and what you think is doable for you and then identify those weekly goals. So if you're looking at your workbook, you're gonna see a place to do that where you can say, hey, my goal every week 
is to post three reels and short form content across Facebook and Instagram. My goal is to share my story and share a little bit about the business opportunity once a week on my personal profile. My goal is to create three other static pieces of content each week that I'm putting on my business page and then sharing into my group. So you can kind of pick and choose what your goals are as you're rolling into the fourth quarter, as you're rolling into the fall season, that you get to make the rules to your own game, right? You get to decide what that looks like for you. We'll share some examples with you of what that could look like, but you really have to determine what is it going to take for you to do that? Do you have the bandwidth? Can you be consistent to hit that goal? So when we're thinking about our daily ABCs, my challenge is to at least put one piece of content out there, right? Again, that could be an email, blog post, video, social post, carousel post, story. You decide what that looks like for you, but you want to be out there building your brand where people can get an idea of what you have to offer every day. And again, sprinkle in those engagement posts. If it's all product, all business, 24-7, people are not going to pay attention. So we need to make sure that we have a good, healthy mix of non-salesy content. I'd say 80% should be non-salesy, 20% that is straight up promoting a product or promoting your business. My last suggestion is to really think about a system that's going to work well for you when it comes to content strategy. Now, I'm partial to ScentShare, which is a social scheduling platform, and it's jam-packed with all kinds of bells and whistles. It's really the hub of all of my content across all of my platforms, and I can schedule it out and batch schedule. So I'm planning a week, two weeks, sometimes even more than that in terms of the content that I'm putting out there to make sure that I'm staying consistent. You need to decide if that's the right platform for you or if you're going to create that content natively on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you're wherever you're posting and schedule that content out in advance or if you feel like you can create it in real time on the go. Now, again, totally personal decision here, but know that when you create your content and you have a strategy for your content, that you also have a strategy to be consistent in terms of the systems that you're using to put yourself out there. So I'm really excited for you to create a piece of content today. I can't wait to see what it is. Feel free to link to it if you want to over in the comments. Comment below. Let us know you got today's challenge done. You got your ABCs done. You created that content for today. And if you are an all access pass holder, you can always snap a photo of that page inside your workbook. For our all access pass holders, I will see you at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern today for our office hours. Those replays are getting loaded up each and every day. So as you're going about your week, I am cheering you on as you're maintaining these healthy habits in your business, staying consistent, doing ABCs every day, getting that confetti. I cannot wait to be with you tomorrow as we wrap up the challenge. We are going to be sharing a little bit about how to get ahead of the holiday hustle tomorrow. And of course, when you complete the challenge for the entire week, you're going to be eligible for an entire year inside the Modern Direct Seller Academy. I can't wait to pick our winners for that. All right. I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.